places that you could use to take a screenshot and this does require two people take a screenshot of your set um, the first place is up here the person whose screenshot is going to be taken goes up here so Mr. Trainer Man over here and you yourself the taker of the screenshot go all the way back until you can just see his body and that's it and uh, press page up so all the UI just disappears and all you have is the body and just take a screenshot all right. and if um, you need to take a shot while you're moving um, the person whose uh, screenshot needs to be taken goes up here and you yourself will go all the way back here and just to get a better shot you can do slash rest so your screen just goes down a bit and I uh, see I need a little bit more so see that's perfect um, I could move back just a little bit more but this is good too and just take the screenshot here or you can do the same on the other side of the map whichever whichever you prefer this here in Pirate Harbor is another spot that you could uh, take a screenshot so the person whose screenshot is going to be taken goes here and you will move all the way back here and yep you can take the screenshot here remember to um, press page up so the UI goes away and just find the perfect spot this is more like of an aerial, aerial view-ish, sort of, but um, yeah, good enough still. So here's another spot where um, you can take a screenshot. The person whose screenshot is going to be taken goes up there, and uh, you're going to be down here. Remember to press page up so your UI goes away. Alright, um, for demonstration purposes now, I'm going to render... Oh, my little buddy here, my little buddy the trainer, uh, I'm just going to do slash rest, see how that gets me, I just want to move back just a bit, just get his full body in there, press page up, take the screenshot, and uh, let's take it down to Photoshop and see what we can do with it. Alright, um, let's open up our... Screenshot here. Whoa, that's blurry. Okay, there we go. Now, the first thing I do is I unlock this layer here. Just double click it and it will ask you to name it. Just doesn't matter. I just click OK. Um, now that that's a layer. Oh, closed eyes. Cool. Okay. Um, now, what I'll do is grab the pen tool here this is what I always use the pen tool is best it is very complicated if you want to get complicated with it but it is also very simple to use I'll tell you some shortcuts that you can use all right so first off we'll start with um, just zooming in you can I have it set so I can I can use my mouse wheel to um, to scroll here so you can do that by going to edit preferences general and just um, hit zoom with scroll wheel and then press ok and um, or if you don't want to do that you can just press control plus um, and control minus to move in and out um, so I'm gonna start with a point down here and then we'll go all the way around his body and get back to the point that we started with so we'll go start here and um yep just click hold and drag to get the outline here and yep perfect now this point this anchor here the next one is this determines how the next curve will be so if i move it up here the next curve will be like that and if i move it down here the next curve will be like this now it's control Z to go back one and then control Z again to go back forward or go forward and then control alt Z to keep going backwards um, so yep yeah. 
So we'll click and hold and drag and get that footing there. And then hold Alt to move the anchor um, after you're done. So I'm just going to move it here and get my position set there. And I'm going to hold anchor. Just, uh, I don't like that. I'm going to hold Alt and then I'm going to move it to here and just move this up a bit. That's perfect. And get this, move it here. If you want to move a specific anchor point, you can hold control and move it. it take note that it does move all the anchors with it. So I'm just going to put that back there. Um, and click this he here again if you've messed with something before to come back to the last anchor here. And we'll just uh, keep going here. Mm, that seems good over here that seems good here that seems good now take note that I'm just holding alt every time I'm done um, click and dragging so yeah just get the right curve that you need and bring the anchor here get that there and just, just do this all, all the way around Um, to move, just hold space and uh, click and drag. It will bring up the hand tool, which will allow you to move. So you don't have to zoom in and out to a different location or move the sliders. Now for these parts here where you have these little spaces inside, just go for the outmost line. So this black line here, I'm just going to go for this because I do want it inside the render. Alright, now that we're almost done here, just um, come all the way back, get a nice little line there, and just connect to the last dot. You'll see the little circle there in the pen tool, and uh, just once you click it, it makes a whole nice little line around the whole thing. Now what you'll do is press Control enter and it will make it into a selection. Now what you'll do is Press Control Shift I to invert that selection and then press delete and it will delete everything around it. And uh, then I just press Control D to, um, well, essentially just remove the selection, um, just or well, the selection boundary. And here I see there's a little bit left here, so I'm going to go back, use my pen tool, create a starting point from there. And just quickly make a little line and here drag my uh, little anchor up there and then it's connected now control enter and this time I'll just press delete because I don't want to remove everything around it I want to remove that itself so I'll press delete um, that looks kind of funky so I think um, you know what I'll just leave it there doesn't matter um, that looks pretty good. Now what I'll do is use the crop here and just crop it out because if you don't crop it out you'll have all this extra space and that's unnecessary. Um, that looks good. Save that. <coughs> Perfect. And that's how you render pretty much anything. Yeah. Alright, now for the last thing is saving it. Now we'll do file, save as, or save, it doesn't matter, as 
as long as it's your first save. Um, save as. We'll go down to PNG here. And I'll rename it Trainer Render. And I'm just going to bring it down to Rumble Fighter here. And save it. Press OK. And there you have it. That's all that you should need to do, really. And then you can take the image and you can take it to Imager and uh, upload it by clicking computer here. And then you'll just go to OK. Um, pictures are renders and uh, find your trainer. There's the render. Open it. And once that happens, just click start upload. It will upload it. And then copy the BB code link here and post. And this is how you can put it in your post, really. And there we go. That's how it will come up like. And that's a pretty good render, I'd say. And there's the process of taking the screenshot, going to Photoshop, rendering it, and posting it on the forums. And yeah, maybe you won't have to beg on the forums for a render now. Or, well, maybe you'll still do it. But, whatever. You learn something new. Thanks for watching. Thank you.